Hi guys, this is my dog Oliver. He's basically my favorite thing on the entire planet and I love taking him places. So I thought today I would try and go to as many dog parks as I can as a way to explore more of Seattle. Before we get into the dog parks, today's video is sponsored by Open Farm. Lately, I've been giving him the grass-fed beef recipe. This is a turkey bone broth meal topper. And bon appetit. Oliver has always been very, very picky when it comes to eating, and he also has a sensitive stomach, and I also love him so much and only want to give him the best food. Open Farm uses some of the highest standards in the industry when it comes to sourcing their ingredients. 100% of their protein comes from ethical audited farms, which means you'll find meats like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised lamb, and wild-caught salmon. Like, I don't even have those standards for myself. They use only functional ingredients, so they they don't use any fillers. And the last thing I really like about Open Farm that I didn't even realize was important until I was doing more research is they cook the food at lower heats, which means the ingredients retain more nutrients. Some of the products they have are their kibble, which is what I've been feeding Oliver lately. They also have gently cooked recipes. So this comes frozen. Toppers, they also have a raw diet and they have treats. Shake, shake, good. Other hand. Good, there it goes. If you're interested in trying out Open Farm, I'll have a link below in the description. If you use my link, you get 15% off if you're a new customer. Now this is the pinnacle of all dog parks. This is a 40 acre off leash dog park. This is called the Mary Moore Dog Park. I've heard nothing but great things about this park. On the internet, it is referred to as Dog Disneyland. That's how high the bar is today. Dog Disneyland. Let's go check it out. So I put in Marymore Off Leash Dog Park into Google Maps and it very easily got me right to the parking lot. It's super straightforward and easy. There are signs posted everywhere that there is a $1 parking fee and they do accept card. You know, I was gonna complain and say it's really annoying that there's a $1 parking fee. I thought for a second it was gonna be like one of those old school ones where you had to have a dollar bill and I don't have a dollar bill. So then I was gonna be like, wow, this is so annoying, but that was easy and you gotta support the park, right? So that's fine. I think it's officially time. It's off leash time. Ready? You're off leash. You're free. <laughs> yep, mark that territory, sir. Just made it in, and so far it reminds me of farmland. So here we just have a huge, wide open field. Seems like a lot of dogs are congregating over there, so I kind of want to go over there. Okay, oftentimes at dog parks, Oliver just sits next to my feet and doesn't know what to do. And here it's so cool because it's so big and there's just so much for him to go explore. I was really expecting real bathrooms and they only have honey buckets. So right off the park, there is this place called the Wash Spot Express. It looks like a newer building and it's just a place where you can wash your dog. I can't believe they have this nice new building, but not a real bathroom in sight. Oh my gosh. All right, we had a Sheltie encounter, so I would say this was a successful trip to the dog park. So what'd you think? I think it was a really cool dog park. It's huge, it's really especially great for dogs that love to run. For Oliver, it was just okay, honestly. Like, I think he would give it a B plus, just because I think he's usually happier at a smaller dog park. It's more intimate and he's making more personal relationships, you know, with golden retrievers that he can chase. Just 
rolled up to the Warren G. Magnuson Dog Park. I've heard this is also one of the best dog parks in Seattle. Upon arriving, parking is very easy. It's free. There are plenty of spots. There are plenty of dogs. And there's even this vintage trailer selling dog treats. There's so many dogs here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you very friendly? Hi. Oh, there is a ton of space upon entering. And now we're gonna take this little path over here and explore a bit more. Small and shy dog area, that's so cute. Good boy, socializing, sniffing butt. There's several just like dog packs you'll see. So I think a lot of dog walkers just bring their whole squad. Oh. <laughs> <All over. laughs> Come here. Be high. They've got plenty of dog bags. Barkery. This this is the pup cake. Ready? He's like, what do I do with it? I really liked this park. Like, I liked this park so much, I think this one's gonna be hard to beat. It was really big, there were so many dogs. They were friendly, people were nice. I'm impressed, I'm very impressed. What do you think, huh? So today we are headed to the Magnolia Off-Leash Dog Park. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than some of the other ones we've been to, but I think that you'll have fun regardless. Here we have it. Pretty uh, sizable area, no grass though. having a good time? Are you having a good time? Well, I really liked that dog park a lot. People were super nice there. I had just like nice conversation with neighboring people. The dogs were really nice. Oliver actually got to play with some dogs and chase them around. love today? I think you did. Oliver fell in love with not one but two golden doodles that he kept pumping. Today we are going to the Woodland Park Dog Park. This is serving more of the North Seattle Green Lake sort of area. The reviews are mixed. Some people think it's great, others not so much. I was trying to get to the Woodland Park, Off Leash Dog Park, but the entrance was closed. This is the second time I've attempted to go there. So I've ended up at Green Lake instead, but I'm gonna try and find the Woodland Park Dog Park area. But so far, accessibility, zero out of 10. All right, so this was what kind of messed me up here, but I found it. Well, I found out if you put lower Woodland Off Leash area, it, uh, it shows you exactly where you need to go. So we're almost there. So this park is definitely way different than all of the other ones. It's kind of like a hiking terrain. Oliver likes to jump up on things. So Oliver, come here, jump up. Nice. Gosh, hi guys. Couple interesting things about this park I noticed and you'll probably notice there's no grass, it's all dirt. So you can see dogs kick up a lot of dust. Can you imagine on a rainy day? This place is probably a muddy, 
mess. Also, we're surrounded by so many trees. It's really beautiful and it provides a lot of shade. Today's pretty hot, it's like 80 degrees and Oliver's wearing a furry jacket, you know? It's a great park for a sunny day, I have to say. And lastly, I thought it was interesting, there's a lot of young people here. Young dog owners seem like they're in their 20s and 30s. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cool. I can like relate a, bit, a little bit, maybe meet someone. It's kind of cool. Dog's so cute. Come here. Go again. Oliver seems to like it here. Some of these parks are just so unclear on how to get to the dog park. Watercrest Park. <laughs> Shy dog area. Hey, I think you fit into that. I've never seen a dog park have like some sort of agility thing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Do it again. Do it again. He didn't look. You didn't love that, did you? Come here. <laughs> Got some water bowl. A. Oh yeah. Sure enough, this works. Get it. I think this is one of the more underrated parks. I had never heard of it. It felt like more than just a park. It had these walking areas that felt like I was just taking my dog on, not a hike, but I guess it, it felt like a public park where my dog could be off leash versus just a dog park. I don't know, you liked it, right? I'll be honest, Genesee Park, not really one to write home about. I wouldn't go out of my way to ever come here again. If you live nearby, awesome. Awesome to have an off-leash park to come to, definitely go to it. Otherwise, eh. This next one I've been very curious about for a while. It is the Denny Park off-leash dog park. Denny Park is in South Lake Union, so it's really part of the city dog park. This Denny Park reminds me just a little bit of Central Park. And the reason for that is when you're at Central Park, there's this one spot right on like the south side where it's just a lot of greenery and then there's like these brand new skyscrapers and Denny Park kind of gets that vibe too. I'll show you right here. But Denny Park is like one one thousandth the size. It's not very big. Like this is, this is it. It's, it's just a, a block. It's nice and cleaned up. It's seen worse days, but it's looking good now, and it's really cute. They've got some seating. They've got like these string lights. The last dog park we are going to is kind of more of just a novelty. It's the Amazon Spheres. They're in South Lake Union. There's a small little dog park. So Amazon is dog friendly, and I believe I read one time there's over like 7,000 dogs registered to go into the office. So naturally, they have a little dog park nearby, which is what we're gonna check out. So it's really small. No one's here, just us. I bet you, you know, when everyone goes back to the office, I've walked past here and if you want to see corgis, this is the place. That was a nice time, huh? So Oliver really doesn't care about running or fetch or any of that stuff. He just likes to interact with other dogs. It's not as much about the physical activity. For him, it's more just like, you know, stimulating his mind. So I found through this process that smaller dog parks are a lot better for Oliver, and he tends to just be so much happier after going to a small dog park, which is nice because now I don't really have to go out of my way to go to these big dog parks. After a long day, he is gonna be ready for a good night's sleep. <laughs> 